This video is sponsored by Rumbles and Reps, my new podcast here on my channel where I talk about motorsport, racing games, cars, and all of that. My first episode is in the eye on the sky, and you are more than welcome to check it out. Uh, there is going to be more episodes in the future, and if you want to know my opinion about Forza Motorsport, is right there. So thank you very much, and let's continue with the video. Hello guys, it's me, Red the Abit Dinosaur, and today I'm gonna talk about The Crew 2. Yeah, time has passed that I didn't talk about this game for a while, but we're gonna talk about it today in its newest update, Mad, that added some new activities, 12 new vehicles that will be released monthly, and some fixes to the game. Quite surprising that even Motorfest that came out a few months ago and hasn't received any, any major update, but the Crew 2 has, so it, it's weird, but that's up to Ubisoft and, and Ivory Tower, so I know it's a weird logic, but it is what it is. So the mad update has added some new free mode activities, kind of like the normal ones of Escape or Radar or Speed or whatever. Uh, these ones are actually way more challenging. You have to actually try them two, three or more times to actually get them and, and complete them. Uh, one of my favorites of these new mad activities are like the maze that you have to find your way out. They're actually pretty creative of, of them. Um, al also, there is a few ones that you have to drive carefully because like the, the stretch or the checkpoint is in a really stretch area. Those are those are like the type of math uh, challenges that you have to complete. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. I think it's a nice way to actually test the skills of the players, in my opinion, of course. So again, pretty, pretty nice update. Uh, if you complete all the challenges, you get the re uh, as a reward a, a car that is the Audi TT RS uh, Cabriolet. Not too different of the coupe variant that you can get at the start of the game. But if you're a completionist, you can get it just by completing all the math skills. Uh, in terms of cars, well, yesterday were released three vehicles. The Audi TT RS Cabrio that we talked about a few moments ago. But also the Peugeot 205 T16 Evo 2 and the Renault 5 Maxi Turbo. Two classic Group, group B rally legends. I didn't have time to test them properly. I tested yesterday the the Peugeot 205, but not to the not to the lens that I do. So I just know that it's pretty stable, and that's pretty much it. Uh, for future releases, we got the GMA T50 and the GMA T50s cars that I'm really really looking forward to. The spiritual successors of the McLaren F1, and that they are pretty pretty promising. Highly anticipated as well. In January, the two SUVs will be released in the form of the Audi RS Q8 and the new Land Rover Defender V8. And in February, three Porsches will be released. Uh, classics, the Porsche 356, the 911 Carrera RS 2.7, the Ducktail uh, Classic 911, and the 959. Uh, three classics, as I said. I'm very curious how the 959 will perform, especially against the F40, since these two were rivals on the end of the 80s and basically at the start of the 90s. Pretty, pretty cool. So we're gonna we're gonna see in the future uh, how the 959 we will be. For Summit cars, there is only two, and I think that's more than enough. I think the lifespan of the of the game is is quite long enough. So I don't think they there should be released more new uh, vehicle, new uh, summit vehicles. Um, the Porsche Cayenne Basalt and the Dodge Viper Mad Edition are basically the two su new summit cars. The rest are basically comeback vehicles uh, that I'm actually looking forward to, so I can import them to Motorfest. The the one that I'm actually looking forward to is the Huara Rubicon that is gonna be I think the next summit car after the the Viper so it pretty pretty cool car and it's so and it's a car that I'm actually looking forward to get so I can get it from Motorfest and I don't have to do another summit there and especially considering the fact that I think the summit is now more challenging there since it's every essence now is crossplay so it's better to just get the cars from the crew to and import them in in motorfest so you don't have to so also you just save your money on on the new game 
and at the same time you don't have to worry of getting like that old vehicle that you wanted and now you have to face uh top 1000 players so it's, it's better to just not uh, not stress yourself too much uh, overall quite surprising amount of content of this update and especially as i said the lifespan of this game has been long enough considering the fact that motorfest is the new game and is not and is not getting any uh, hefty update like the crew 2 is quite concerning for motorfest players because well that what this means for the future of the game uh, i will say that it will be much better if there is like a hefty update for motorfest in the ne in the next month i think is the is is fair for the player base there but yeah looks like the crew 2 is still getting these type of updates and it's quite surprising and well this is good news for the crew 2 players but we know already that there is going to be a future that the live service will stop and it's i think it's for the best it's it's time to to start on on basically in a new game and at the same time um, think about the preservation of this game i think it's important so just to start developing at least like a single player patch for the crew and the crew too i think they are really really decent games there is a lot of work dedicated to preserve especially and the crew too to make it better to redeem themselves of the of the start that was really rocky so in my opinion it's time to actually preserve all this hard work that the developers have put on the on the game and start thinking on you know preserve all this all this work for future generations that's all i have to say a really solid patch overall again it doesn't sound like much but think about it is it has passed years after the the crew 2 release so i think it's you know it's a hefty patch that even up to this point doesn't need to be to be released but they did it anyway so it's a bonus content that I'm, i really appreciate it personally to be released so let me know in the comment section right below what do you think about the new newest update for the crew 2 and overall the lifespan and redemption of the crew 2 that has done all over these the years after its release in 2018 that in my opinion has been long and has been quite successful in my opinion so yeah that's pretty much for today thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one goodbye